me, Savannah, and it's time for the next vlog. I'm gonna use my whisper voice because today we're gonna show you guys one of the secrets that we have here at Gatorland that no one's ever seen before other than the people that work here. It's taken a lot of convincing to let you guys meet this animal and you guys are gonna be blown away. I'm pretty sure that Bob is one of the only saltwater crocodiles in the entire world like Bob is. But I'm gonna let the boss man tell you a little bit more about why Bob is not out here with all the other crocodiles. You guys are gonna be able to see for yourself. Well, hey everybody, Daggum. I'm glad Savannah and Mike let me be on a, on a vlog again for once. They're always cutting me out. That's not true! All right, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, let me tell you a little bit about Bob. Bob is basically the devil child of Morton and Sheila, and y'all met them before. But Bob, well, little fella was born without a tail. And here in the state of Florida, the Fish and Wildlife Department has a rule and a law that you cannot display animals with birth defects. And that's a good law. And it came about way back when they had the old roadside circuses going around and they were doing two-headed chickens and, and Siamese dogs and, and displaying all these animals with birth defects. So a good law, it is that you can't display animals with birth defects. So Bob was born without a tail, but he's, uh, and maybe that's why he's so mean. He's running around without a tail. But he's a great animal and we've been raising Bob for many, many years. We love Bob, but Bob will get after you. Y'all gonna enjoy this. How you guys doing? This is Bob. Bob is a saltwater crocodile that we've had here in Gatorland for 30 plus years. Bob's got a pretty interesting story. As you guys will see, Bob, does not have a tail, it does not have much of a tail. Sheila had a clutch of eggs, and what happened unfortunately is a bunch of fire ants got into the nest and tore up Bob's tail pretty bad, pretty much ate the whole thing. We have Bob here, we love her, we've had her here for a long time. She is definitely, even though she doesn't have much of a tail, she's incredibly fast, she's very aggressive, She's really dangerous. Are you scared, Pete? Um, I get a little, I'll get a little nervous anytime I'm with the crocodiles just because of how quick they are, how unpredictable they are. They're a lot faster than alligators. And, you know, if you don't have your footwork right, you don't have the angles right, it's really easy to get cut off and be in a real bad position with whether it's Sheila. Crazy girl. You crazy. I think that's why Bob's so crazy too. Right? It's genetic. <laughs> <laughs> you passed on your crazy jeans to Bob. Boss, you better run. Yeah, she's not, I know, she's making me nervous. Grab that piece of chicken. There, there it was. I had to get on the other side. Yeah. She's slightly nerve wracking. <laughs> All right, as you guys can see, we have a lot. Bob's got a lot of little friends in here. A bunch of little turtles in here with Bob. Don't like our animals to just be, you know, sitting in enclosure all by themselves. So, you know, Bob's case, we decided to put a bunch of turtles in here. Bob has never eaten any of the turtles. Obviously, Bob's well fed. She has no need to eat any of the turtles. And a real funny thing that I observed about Bob a while ago is I was, as I was feeding Bob, and you have to do it in a way that Bob doesn't, because the tur turtles are going to want to come up and get food too. It's a real funny story. A few years ago, I was feeding Bob and a piece of bought a piece of red meat that I threw in there and the turtles got to it before Bob did. What the turtles then will try to do is try to pull the piece of meat under the deck, you know, so Bob doesn't get it. As the turtles were all gathered around this piece of meat, Bob literally, and I thought I was seeing things, Bob slowly went up to the closest turtle that was going after the meat and gently pulled the turtle bag by its leg, pulling it away from the meat. Now, I mean, that, that blew me away. Did not harm the turtle at all. So, you know, they're friends in here. You know, 
it's, it's really interesting. All the years I've taken care of Bob and these turtles have been in here for a while. Bob's never eaten the turtles, so there's definitely a, an alliance in here. So they do well. In here. the turtles! As you can see, the turtles have successfully made off of some of Bob's lunch. But I have more food for Bob though, so we're just gonna reset. I'm gonna let the turtles have that piece of chicken. Peach, you'll get me. <laughs> you guys can see how fast Bob is when she grabs that water. She grabs that food. She's lightning fast. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like this vlog. And I hope you learned a little something along the way. Like how much Gatorland loves its alligators and crocodiles. You know, a big old crocodile like that eats a lot of food. And it costs a lot of money for us to take care of Bob and keep Bob alive. Most places, if there was an animal that had a defect like that, there's no way they would keep them around. But Gatorland loves all of its animals, all of them, from the skunks to the groundhogs, to the capybara, to the alligators, to the crocodiles, and even to the humans that are all part of the Gatorland family. So post in the comments below and let me know what you guys think about Bob. And do us a favor, check that like button, smash that notification bell, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to too, too. Thanks for being a part of the Gatorland family. We sure do love you guys. And we'll see you on Wednesday in the next live Gatorland vlog. Bye.